how the deep state infiltrated and paid off Donald Trump's bad casino bets. Later in this video, we will explain how the deep state Mossad controls, monitors, and uses the casinos as a honey trap to catch the baddest actors like Tony the Ant Spilatro, who not only killed women, but he also might put your head in a vice and squeeze it. But you will also learn that not only does the deep state catch and punish bad guys who are attracted to the casinos, like, you know, uh, they put away fat Tony Salerno and they buried Tony the Ant Spilatro in a cornfield, but the deep state Mossad also uses the casinos to trap unsuspecting entrepreneurs like Donald Trump. What's the easiest way to get a guy to work for you? You break him. You take all his money away from him. After he has become accustomed to living the La, La Dolce Vita, after a guy like Donald Trump has had millions and he's living a sweet life, I mean, he does not want to live like you and I. So after you break him, how many bankruptcies do you think Donald Trump had? Don't you think that it is strange that after every Donald Trump bankruptcy, that somehow Donald Trump was still kept in the game? This is not a coincidence. This is not by accident. This was all cleverly planned out. So Donald Trump would work for them. They would have control over Donald Trump. Later in the video, you will learn how the deep state CIA Mossad works with the mafia to control Hollywood. So they only put out stuff that can manipulate, control, and brainwash the unwashed masses. Do you think this is a coincidence? I think not. The deep state is in cahoots with Hollywood and the union mob pumping out propaganda. And Donald Trump made his last fortune in Hollywood. Do you think this is a coincidence? That Donald Trump lost two or three fortunes in the casino business. And the deep state and the Mossad control the casino business. I mean, none of this is by accident. The CIA, deep state, Mossad, bought and paid for Donald Trump. Again, after he lost two, three, or four fortunes, the Mossad gave him an offer he could not refuse. Work for us, and we will give you back your fortune. We will give you an easy, piece of cake, Hollywood gig. And the rest is history. Today we talk about how the American commie socialist state crippled the La Cosa Nostra. It was an unholy marriage to create a honey trap to control the underworld. The honey trap was based in Las Vegas. Everything is about control, power, and money. Do you think it was a coincidence that the CIA works with the Mafia in Hollywood to manipulate and brainwash the unwashed masses? Do you think it was a coincidence that the CIA worked with the Mafia to kill Castro in Cuba? Do you think it was a coincidence that the La Cosa Nostra Italian figures went to prison or were killed and Meyer Lansky, Mo Dalitz, Lefty Rosenthal, Steve Wynn, Sheldon Adelson lived La Dolce Vita. They lived a sweet life. La Dolce Vita. Follow the blood and follow the money and you will realize that the CIA morphed into or evolved into the Mossad and they protected their inside men and buried men like Tony Spilatro. Personally, I have worked in no less than a dozen casinos in Las Vegas and other casinos across the country. Once you understand that Vegas is a fed city controlled by the CIA, 
which evolved into the Mossad, okay? The biggest mob honey trap ever set. Before Vegas, remember this, before Las Vegas was created and evolved, the Italian La Cosa Nostra mob was strong. After the CIA and Meyer Lansky built Las Vegas, the La Cosa Nostra withered away. Facts. Meyer Lansky worked with the feds and the CIA. Meyer was protected by the feds. Mo Dalitz, one of the biggest godfathers ever to reign in Las Vegas, protected by the feds, the CIA. Lefty Rosenthal, protected by the feds and the CIA which morphed into the Mossad, Lefty was able to retire in Florida and live the sweet life as fat Tony Salerno was put in prison, as Tony the Ant Spalatro was buried in a cornfield. Meyer Lansky was protected. Mo was protected. Lefty retires to Florida. Follow the trail of blood and money and power and control. And as the underworld money gradually parked itself on Wall Street and in the Caribbean islands, Steve Wynn, Sheldon Adelson used the Wall Street money to build huge casinos, nothing but a trap. They tell you what happens here in Vegas stays here, all a lie. You're under total, constant surveillance. The La Cosa Nostra was set up in Las Vegas. They fell for it hook, line, and sinker. And when I say sinker, I really mean sinker. They sunk to the lowest levels in Las Vegas. They withered away the La Cosa Nostra as Steve Wynn and Sheldon Adelson were protected, untouchable, to retire in luxury. Now you know the truth about the honey trap called Las Vegas. And you may say, well, that's all fine and dandy, but it was, that's history. And I would say to you, but why do we study history? Because our actions, history has implications, ramifications, and the unintended consequences of a vast, powerful, deep state. With, this, with as much power and control as the CIA and the Mossad have now over Americans, they gained that partly because of Las Vegas, but Las Vegas was just uh, an experimental honey trap experiment. What happened in Las Vegas is now spread all over the country through the Internet, and now this vast, powerful, deep state has total control over the unwashed masses. What are the implications? The, the implications are staggering. You either work for the deep state or you live under the bridge. How staggering are those implications? Think about it. In Las Vegas, where these casinos were supposed to be run by entrepreneurs, men of honor from the old country, with no help from the government. But it was a honey trap. And these Italian figures and Americans from the Ohio River came here to work in the casinos thinking that it was a pure capitalistic society, a capitalistic Venture where you work for men who pulled themselves up from the bootstraps and you work for men who earned their own. You thought these casinos were privately owned when in fact Vegas was founded with a CIA connection with Meyer Lansky all to catch the really bad guys in the underworld. And when you have not only the military involved in Las Vegas and the CIA and the Mossad, when a town like Las Vegas becomes a fed town and the money comes from Wall Street and you cannot even let the MGM fail now. The MGM's too big to fail. The Caesars is too big to fail. These casinos are too big to fail because they're part of Wall Street and the government won't allow it. The implications of the government in this 
private venture, this staggering, because now I tell you either you work for the government or you live under the bridge. We are now a commie, socialist, pathetic, third world cesspool. The great commie American socialist empire in one picture. What would happen to Walmart if the government snap card food stamps program stopped suddenly? Well, Walmart would have to shut down. They'd have to close their doors. You know that. You've been to Walmart. It's like a ghetto. Because, in fact, Walmart is nothing more than a government welfare COMEX base outlet. I remember the COMEX stores on the military bases when I was in the military. They gave military men better subsidized prices. Because back then, us military guys did not get paid too much. I think I started off with $400 a month. This was a perk of serving for your country. They had a store on a base that gave you good prices. I think they called it the COMEX on Air Force and Army bases, a little different. Okay? But when that COMEX subsidized welfare store is now the biggest government, welfare, employer across a vast commie nation, well, you know the gig is up. I mean, there's nothing worse than the lies that you tell yourself. You pretend to be a great capitalistic empire founded by pulling yourself up by the bootstraps. Bullshit. When in fact, you are nothing but a washed-up, socialist, commie state of government-assisted, government-funded, deep-state contracts, a vast conglomerate of corruption, how sad is it to get old and delusional? This picture tells us how sad America has become. As our system breaks down, China cannibalized all of our best pieces. They took all of our best pieces, bought them up, and they incorporated it into their modified capitalistic system designed to outlast ours. That's all China's doing, is trying to outlast us. They are playing the great waiting game. All they have to do is sit back as this socialist, communist state falls and crumbles. That's all China is doing, just sitting back and watching. They're trying not to laugh at us. I mean, they are humble people, and they're not really laughing at us. They don't take any pleasure in watching the old man fall, but they will benefit. Let's take a look at the map here. Boeing up there. They sell to the military. They sell to the deep state. Intel. Uh, intelligence, government operation. Look at those places where the eagle is. The eagle, those are, that's where the military, and we're not even talking about the civilian contract workers on the base. Look at all the yellow universities, universities that make their money through the government. The healthcare system, which makes their money through Medicare, Medicaid, basically healthcare is a government subsidized welfare system. This whole map tells me of nothing but government contracts, government this, government substance. I mean, this is the most saddest map I've ever seen. And then you've got Las Vegas, the casinos. I mean, I'll talk about that in another video on the Bravo alternative media channel. I'll talk about how Las Vegas is nothing but a fed town. How the CIA and the feds created Las Vegas as a honey trap to destroy the La Cosa Nostra. That video is coming up. Yes, people don't know that Vegas was a big honey trap. We have turned in, we, we are a socialist commie state. This map proves it, and we need to stop lying. To ourselves. And the saddest part is, what's paying for this deep state, 
socialist, commie empire. Who's paying for it, okay? Well, I'll tell you who's paying for it. Your grandchildren are paying for it. You are stealing from your great, great grandkids. And I've, I have never, ever seen anything so pathetic, so downright evil, that men who think they're men of honor, these people who are in, the, in control, these people who, the powers to be, how downright pathetic and evil are you to steal from your grandchildren and your great-great-grandchildren. Can you imagine the life that they're going to live when the whole commie shit collapses? You people are pathetic.